Okay, so you want to learn how to make a Bomb Rush Cyberfunk mod. I'll teach you, but I can't guarantee you're going to have a butthole by the end of this. In order to make a model replacement mod, you're going to need four things. First thing you're going to need is Blender. Get the latest version. There's nothing specific, just get the latest version. That's what I use. You're going to need Unity. I use the 2021 March 27th build, so that's 2021 3.27. Technically, that's not the build this mod is built on. However, it is also the build that is used with the small blue method. So if you download this one, you can kill two birds with one stone if you want to try that method out too. You're going to need to download all of this from Mikawa's GitHub. Link in the description. And technically, while this last download is optional, I highly recommend it. I made a link to my Google Drive that has both the Aikawa mod DLL already built, as well as a blend file that has a skeleton that is built for Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. This is the exact same one I used on the MF Doom model, I just took everything that was MF Doom out of it. Alright, first things first, we're gonna need a model replace. I'm just gonna go to Models Resource and uh, I'm gonna download this. It was on the front page, I thought it was funny. We're importing the Aquafresh guy. I'm also doing this to prove that you can do this with pretty much any model. I've never seen this model before in my life, and by the end of this video, it will be in Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Alternatively, if you're making your own custom model, I recommend using my custom skeleton. It's right there. Seriously, it's a free resource. Go for it. If you're importing a model, what you need to know is there are three formats that can carry a skeleton. Those are FBX, DAE, and .3DS. If you have a .3DS file, there's not even an add-on for that for Blender anymore. Just go find a converter and put it into FBX. No, OBJs do not carry a skeleton, don't ask. There are other formats that carry skeletons like .xps or .pmx, but if you know what those are, you probably didn't need me to explain what a .dae or fbx was. And if you have one of those models and you don't know how to import it, Google's your friend, I'm not teaching you. Right, cool, by this point you should have your model in Blender, say hello to it, wave to it, say hello! If you're importing an FBX, which is the most common type of file, you might notice that your skeleton looks like this. Yeah, there's a way to fix that. Reimport your FBX and make sure to hit these settings this time. If it still looks like that, there's either something wrong with the Blender importer, which is possible, or you didn't do it. Either way, at this point, it's out of my hands, sorry. Find another model, there's probably multiple of the characters you're trying to import. We're also going to make the armature see-through by doing this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to start deleting some unnecessary bones. Don't need this, don't need this, definitely don't need this. Keep their names in mind though, we're going to come back to this nearly immediately. Right, cool, the bones are deleted. Fuck. This isn't always going to be the case, but sometimes when you delete a bone, suddenly things will stop moving on your model. When this happens, do the following steps. Step 1, locate the vertex group panel. Step 2, go into edit mode. Step 3, go back to the vertex group panel, it should still be there, I... It, why would you click out of it? Make sure you have your vertex group selected, and then click select. You'll notice that a bunch of dots are now orange. Congratulations, you're doing it. Next thing you're going to do is select the nearest bone up at the top here. No, when I say select, I mean select it up here. Don't press the shiny select button, thank you. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here and you're going to hit assign. Congratulations, you just did rudimentary weight painting. Now your model will move right in junk. Now, what if your model doesn't have textures on it? Alright, here's how you fix that. If it doesn't have a new material, make a new material. If it does, click on the yellow dot next to the thing that says base color on a new material, and import your image. You can also set your interpolation down here if you really want to see how the pixel art's gonna look in-game, but it doesn't- oh, oh, I do not like that. What is the, uh, next step again? Oh, right. If your model has multiple materials, you'll need to use the material combiner. It's an add-on. Go find it. I do all my texture combining manually, so I can't help you here. I'm sure there's plenty of good tutorials, though. Bone renaming. So for any of this to work, you need to have six bones that are specifically named on your model. These bones will technically already exist, but they need to be the exact same names. Be sure to pause and read them, or import my skeleton and look at them that way, okay? Alright, here we go. Hand L, Hand R, Foot L, Foot R, Hips, Head. You, uh, you got that? Yeah, okay, cool, then we're good. Time to export it. Select your mesh and your skeleton, and nothing else. Come up here and freeze your transforms. We're gonna be exporting as an FBX. Set your scaling settings down here to FBX all. Go back up and set your path mode to copy and press the little blue button here. That'll make it so your textures import. Scroll down, make sure that you are not exporting with leaf bones. You don't need them. Remember how I said to select the mesh and skeleton? Export selected objects only. That's why I said that. All right, it's Unity time. Extract the Aikawa GitHub zip. If you don't know how to unzip a zip file, I don't know how you got this far, but I'm proud of you. Load up your copy of Unity and navigate to here. All right, now take that FBX you exported and drag it in. Come over here, hit the Extract Texture button. Come over here, hit the Humanoid setting and press Apply. Now go into here and check your bones. Make sure everything's set up. 
Uh, everything that does not have one of these dashed circles should have a bone inside of it. If it does not, this is not going to work. I mean, it might still work, but it's not supposed to. If you've done that, congratulations on your newfound talent for witchcraft. For your next spell, might I recommend bringing back bell-bottom jeans? Anyways, at this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your model, and you're gonna bring it up here, you're just gonna drag and drop it, and then you're gonna set all these position thingies to zero. Come up and press the big old BRC button. If you don't see the BRC button, you've done something wrong. If it's, it's not up here, you f***ed up. Navigate to the character that you have just put in the world. Or you can just drag it from the outline, but I, I navigate. That's what I do in this video. I'm not going to go re-record footage. Press the button! Eh, voila. Alright, so, I'm cutting in here live because I need this to be jarring because this is not a step you're gonna have to worry about in the future. If the mod has been officially released or there's something in the description, go check right now. You don't have to worry about this step anymore. If you don't have to worry about this step anymore, here's the timestamp, skip this. If you do, hi, welcome to this live version of this part of the tutorial. Unfortunately, this is live, so it's not scripted, so uh, I'm sorry in advance. So let's say your model's been imported and he's looking like this. Yeah, I feel that too. This means that your mod's gonna look like this in game. And we don't want that. So here's how we're gonna fix it. First thing we're gonna do is rotate our armature and only our armature, negative nine. Then we're going to hit apply transforms. Now, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put it up 90 degrees. And we're not gonna apply transforms this time. Why does this fix it? I don't know. I'm just doing you, I'm just telling you what I've been told, doing you a solid. You're pretty much home free at this point. What you're gonna do is you're gonna align the spray can, you're going to align the phone. You wanna make sure that the phone is facing outwards because how do you hold your phone? Think about it that way. Then you're gonna align your inline skates. You can actually just align one and then come over here, right click, do copy component and then paste component. You'll get it pretty close for the other skate when you paste it on. Then you're gonna come down to these four brand new circles here and you're gonna plug in your textures. That's gonna be a diffuse texture, that's the main color, and an emission texture if you wanna make things glow. All right, remember that file I told you to download earlier, the fourth step, the optional one? If you're not gonna build your own version of the DLL, this is where you're gonna need it. I'm gonna assume that you have Pepin X installed at this point. If you don't, how did you plan on installing this? If you don't, go download R2 Mod Manager and then install Bepin X through there for the Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. If you are just freshly installing it, you need to go into this area and you need to make a plugins folder. If not, you probably already have one. Put the folder in the plugins folder, run Bomb Rush Cyberfunk once modded. You just have to get to the title screen. Close it out and you're ready to export, so click on your character. Oh, uh, don't forget to set which character you want this to go over, by the way. Forgot, forgot to mention that. Anyway, export your character to here. You'll see that there's a new folder in there where you're going to put your new .brc file. Export. And like that, you've done it. Congratulations. The fuck? Yeah, this, this rig isn't done the best. And like that, the model's in the game. Now, uh, you might notice there's something up with the foot. That's just because I forgot a uh, bone that I deleted, uh, if you remember the earlier step where I did the weight painting. Uh, everything else works fine. Uh, you can actually see me using it right here on the MF Doom mod. This is a version that I made with Iacomas, specifically just to show it off. See, it works perfectly. Alright. Cool. 